Ads on the internet have lots more access to information about you and the ability to respond to that information in ways that ads in the physical world do not. So when I walk in front today, now this may change in the future as we see the rise of pervasive computing, but today when I walk up to a billboard in an in, in a, uh, airport, it doesn't you know, read some information about me, you know, scan my face, look me up at some database and figure out what should be on the billboard. What's the most useful thing or what advertiser is willing to pay the most money to put their ad in front of me at that particular moment. On the internet, this happens all the time. So this is referred to as sort of ad targeting, uh, personalized advertisements. And so the way this works is pretty simple. When the ad loads on the page, the ad tries to access information that the browser might know or other context in order to deliver an ad that's effective. So a simple example. There are many websites that serve content from visitors all over the world. If I'm browsing uh, you know, a site that's located in the UK, and the site can tell that, I'm lo that my location is in the United States, which it can probably do based on my IP address, um, there are probably certain ads that it's going to deliver and certain ads that it may not deliver. It may not be worth, for example, selling uh, ad space at that moment to a car brand that I can't buy in the United States. Um, so that's a simple example that uses sort of like very coarse grain location. So um, what can ads use to personalize themselves? Um, of course, uh, coarse grained location is one example. Um, I could also use something about the person's browsing history. And this is when we start to talk about web tracking. The idea that multiple sites may use cookies located on your browser to share information with you with, with other advertising networks. So an advertising network may be able to determine that I like a particular product or figure out that you know I, I'm interested in buying a certain thing and target ads on the page about me. So something about my web browsing history. If I'm logged into social media sites like Facebook um, and the particular site has an agreement with Facebook, it may be able to retrieve certain information about my Facebook profile and use that information again to better target the advertisement. So all this is happening when you load a page and you're trying to figure out sort of the, the advertising code that's running is trying to figure out what ad should I put in front of this user. And this is done to try to maximize the likelihood that you are going to click on the ad and the advertising network is going to make money. Now, there's lots of different information that advertising networks could use about you. Um, this type of advertising is still, is still in a fairly nascent stage, and so uh, some research has suggested that there's a lot of information that's still not being used to personalize ads or is not being used particularly effectively. Um, but this is certainly something to be aware of, and it's, some, it's one of the many ways that the internet that we experience sort of adapts and molds itself around us as we're browsing.